The number of children diagnosed with autism every year is growing. It's now one in 88. There are support groups for parents and families, but autism doesn't stop when children turn 19. V. Cooper looks at support networks for adults with autism. I spent a lot of years basically at home alone. Surround, I was surrounded by books and computers and DVDs, but I didn't have a lot of face-to-face uh, -face interaction with other human beings. For an adult with autism, social interaction can be overwhelming. Am I doing the right thing? Am I annoying this person? Am I talking too much? Am I not talking enough? Am I behaving appropriately? I have to push myself and um, or else I, I'm just going to isolate myself and, and just feel lonely and miserable. But that's changing thanks to technology. Really important is social media. I think social media is really funding it. And Leah herself used a lot of Facebook and Twitter. Through this social networking website, autistic adults across Victoria are invited to get together once a month and just be themselves. It's just really fun because it's so easy to just, you just go. You don't have to like be invited or like you're allowed or like someone's judging you like you're not welcome. It's social contact. Uh, there's a lot of us who just really don't get enough. We stay at home, we read books, we do whatever it is that we do. One of the most common things when Aspies meet other Aspies is we say, you mean you do that too? I thought I was the only one. On this day, a few from the group headed to UVic. And the computer actually knows what expression I'm making. To learn a little about CART, UVic's Center for Autistic Research, Technology and Education. And I can't go anywhere until I mimic the expression that they're making. Many autistics avoid eye contact, so CART has designed a program to help autistic children interpret facial expressions. When the machine perception lab detects the right smile, the smile that the average person would have, then it gives you feedback, and then the kid really feels what a real genuine smile feels like. We are trying to develop new technologies to help people remember faces, to interpret facial expressions, and to sort of share faces with their friends. The research is focused on kids, but it's beneficial for adults with autism, too. I hope that people become more aware of what autism is and how it affects people who are diagnosed and their families so that any stigma and stereotypes uh, can be minimized, if not eliminated. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.